Former Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Kashyanov accuses President Vladimir Putin of corruption, of rolling back democracy in Russia, and of posing a risk to the West. But he says American efforts to open dialogue with Putin, including President Trump's call to Putin this past weekend, are necessary. A thaw in Russian-American relations? Yeah, that's very much important, uh, absolutely. But uh, the telephone conversation lasted like 45 minutes, but in fact there is no not much of something like promises to each other. An important thing that the, the word sanctions never were mentioned by one or another president. It means, it means just the, the, the Mr. Trump is not prepared just to implement what he promised just publicly as in any populist manner that he would leave sanctions, etc., etc. Kasyanov says Putin will cling to his nuclear arsenal. He predicts future talks between Trump and Putin won't go well. I doubt that there will be some kind of transaction uh, win to win win transaction or deal, how Mr. Trump call it, because both of these presidents, they are both of just uh, desire to get 100% winner, to be winners, both Putin and Trump. That's why I just I think in a few months situation we will have some kind of um, difficult relations. Let them meet once, then we'll see what the outcome will be. Since being fired by Putin, Kasyanov has struggled to run as an opposition candidate. His opposition partner, Boris Nemtsov, murdered outside the Kremlin in 2015. Kasyanov himself has been assaulted and followed. His apartment was bugged in an embarrassing sex tape released last year, he says, by the Russian secret services. And Putin's man in charge of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, last year posted a video of Kasyanov in the crosshairs of a sniper rifle. Kasyanov says he fears for his life. Why do you stay? Somebody should continue, should continue to fight, continue to voice. He predicts Putin will run for president again in 2018, which means the Russian leader will have been in power longer than any other except Stalin. Dana Lewis, TRT World, London.